Who is Liam Phillips? Um, a BMX racer. You know, somebody that works hard, enjoys what they do, and yeah, just wants to be faster than anybody else on a BMX bike. I think that what you see on, on race day is just such a small part of, of what goes in sort of behind the scenes. It's a commitment and really a, a selfish approach to you know, being the best BMXer I can be. I've got a fantastic support network, you know, family, girlfriend, and they all know what I want to achieve. You know, what it takes for me to you know, stand on top of the podium is, is much more than just turning up on a race day and giving it a good go. So we're here in Manchester, this is my home. I haven't grown up here, but I've lived here for a number of years now. I live, I know, five or six miles away from the centre and it's somewhere that I train almost every day. My girlfriend is, is a track cyclist. Um, she's been to London Olympics, so we, we both know exactly what each other goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. If you look around the house, you wouldn't know that either of us cycle. Try and keep our work life and our home life completely separate. I think that it's quite easy to you know, come back and all of a sudden you've got you know, a wall full of you know, jerseys and memorabilia and, and number plates. And I like to be able to come back and completely forget about cycling and literally just yeah, eat good food. You know, I, I like my coffee and I like to sit on the sofa and, and watch TV. We've got a dog and yeah, our life is just that of a, of a normal person essentially. And I think that one of the the biggest things away from training is certainly that psychological break and rest, but also you know, the physical rest as well. Certainly you don't have a very rock and roll lifestyle. It's pretty much trying to make sure that I get everything out of myself, both during training and, and away from training. So I live five or six miles away from the track and obviously you've got the, the BMX track and the velodrome all at the, the National Cycling Centre so every cycling discipline is based out of Manchester. Cheadle where I live is you know it's a bit of a, a hub for other cyclists it's become a, a good place to live certainly that social side of things away from training you know we all sort of live the same lifestyle so you know to, to go out for a bite to eat or a coffee with people you know, they're only just down the road. For me, the difference between a great lap, a good lap or a poor lap, it's the, the margins are so small now. I think that you know, the difference between a good start and a poor start, for example, is you know, it's thousandths of a second. Ultimately, you know, if you're out front and you, and you have a good clean lap and you just try and minimise mistakes, backsides on everything and just carry good speed around the track, I think that that, for me, signifies a good solid lap. Well, BMX is a professional sport and an Olympic sport and you know, the, the mindset and the psychological elements of the sport, they're up there with, with anything else. I mean, I, I liken it to sort of a 100 metre sprint but without lanes. You see the guys with the swagger and it's, it's very sort of intimidating or trying to intimidate their opponent. In BMX it's sort of, it's even more extreme than that because if you don't get to, to the crest or the first couple of metres in front of the guy next to you, then you're getting cut off. I've had numerous injuries over the last few years. I've had to really dig deep to come back from, from some of those. And you know, I didn't have a, a surgery free season for five or six years. The culmination of injuries and setbacks and each time that I did get injured and, and had a setback, it sort of splashed petrol on my fire really. I wanted to get back on my bike more and more every time something that I love. I love I love challenges and I love winning races.